Hi, it's Neil from 80s Casuals in the studio with Miles Kane. Um, come down here today because uh, sort of mutual appreciation and chats about some retro clothes. Obviously, I sell Fila, Tashini, um, LS, and all the retro gear. And uh, some lads will know my background was music as well. In the 90s, I put on Oasis first show on their tour um, and sort of been into music and sort of recognised, you know, the culture of lads and the Britpop thing, 80s, moving into 90s, mm -hmm. and lads sort of wearing it, and became apparent on Insta, seeing Miles' name crop up, that we're both... We had the mutual respect, didn't we, for yeah, the music, that's and, it. I, and I loved the, the sort of the old yeah. school tracksuits, so we had a little bond yeah. over that. If I stopped doing music, if I'm honest, I, I then, my first festival with my current partner, uh, was V Festival, I think 2014 or round about that time, I'm not sure. But it was your first album, yeah, solo album, or second round album around that time, yeah. I, think, I definitely, yeah. well, I went out and straight away bought the first album, yeah. And within no time, I was buying the second. So if I went to see Shed Seven, I think you came on before them, something like that. Yeah. So that was a nice surprise. When we've chatted about stuff, we sort of admired the Be on Borg tops, and I was sort of saying to Miles. They've never really come out in recent times mm. in the exact colours. And there's been an ask a call for them, hasn't and there? People have been asking. So um, a friend, Tony Quirk, um, got us some originals, um, green and the red, which Miles has got on. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, um, so Miles, um, I showed Miles the, the originals and then we suggested we get them done. So in the past it had been more of a deep post box red, but this is now more of an orangey yeah, red. I, I actually prefer this. The so orange. the idea is to get a bit more of a vintage original look out of it and closer to what would have been Borg's top. And I think you're a bit familiar with Borg. It's a bit yeah. of a cool cool card. Yeah, yeah, any characters like that. I like. I loved Agassi and that. Yeah, you know, yeah. Any sports. You seem to be into the Italian uh, thing a bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 So I sort of, I'd say I think like my thing with Liverpool, Manchester seems to be more Adidas, but you seem to have got into the. It was that is definitely a staple, but definitely growing up, the feeler had a uh, a big impact on us because it was seen as that little bit more old school again or sort a of a bit edgier. Edgy. So no, we, no. We, we would lean towards that. When yeah, we were I often kids. think with feeler, I'm sure Philly wouldn't love it if I said, oh. They're never going to sell in mass, but it almost feels like they always come up with something a bit different that mm -hmm. would never really hit a mainstream. Yeah, it would always be a bit quirky, and a certain yeah. person would buy a feeler. That probably brings us on to the next top, which again is pretty out there. But Miles has got a couple here. Yeah, um, do you want the yellow? Yeah, yeah, I think the yellow would make some sense. So this has been massively requested, the yellow one. Um, Danny Dyer wears it in a golf scene in the, the business, so that was 15 years ago, and people say to me, when are you going to bring that out, when are you going to bring that out? So we've released most tops that appeared in the business, but never that, and it's pretty uh, sunshine, yeah, lively great, colour. It? Get us to Ibiza. We've got one. to get to Ibiza yeah. for that one. Lads are crying out for it. Yeah. And, and then there's another colour. So I've been sent this original by a chap Stephen Rossiter, who's another collector friend of ours. Yeah. And um, it's also appeared in a film. It was in a football scene in the firm of Fiverside. Yeah. Football scene, you see a lad wearing it. Uh, but no, that's um, well, well, well pleased with that. And it's definitely. I love the details of the small welts on these jackets. I think they look super. Very cool. technical term there, yeah. welt. Yeah. So no, that. And we've also seen an image recently that I found with. Um, Ice T and the crew wearing it, and also with bottoms, which I'm then a bit of a letdown on the bottoms because Miles keeps telling me, "Got to get the bottoms, got to get the bottoms." You need to get the bottoms. And I've been on the feeler, but I don't think they're going to turn around the bottoms in time. When Miles first said, I thought, "I'm not so sure why with white bottoms," but perhaps he knew better than me. But the actual bottoms were the blue, that, that's with a little that's... green bit in the bottom. So feeler might turn that round, and we'll certainly. Every time I do something from now on, I'll be thinking about the bottoms. Yeah. Because that is what everyone's after, whether it's shorts, t-shirts, or full tracksuits. Um, in terms of the tops, um, 
the Borg top will be out in June and every top's gonna have one to 500, like a limited edition run. So it's gonna be fairly collectible, numbered. Uh, so the green and the red in June. And then the Ibiza, Danny Dyer style will be out in July, which might coincide with a bit of activity you're doing? Yeah, we've been working on a new record, so cool. I think our first single's going to be this summer, so I'm sort of itching to get back out there now. So Any shows? And we've got some gigs, um, end of August, September, a couple of festivals. So Excellent. we'll be doing some little warm-up gigs, fingers crossed, around right. them. So I'll yeah, be there, yeah. To get back out. Oh, all right, no, definitely. Well, thanks, Miles. Nice one, kid. Hopefully we'll perhaps do some more. Yeah, love to. Brilliant. See you later.